Okay, this will be the final installment in the Audio Grabber Ripping tutorial series. And this time we are going to tackle karaoke ripping and some of the problems, the common problem, that we seem to get a lot of uh, telephone calls about. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and start up Audio Grabber. And again, it shows us the tip of the day. And let's go ahead and insert our karaoke CD into the machine. Audio Grabber will spin it up. And the Windows Media Player audio autoplay, we can go ahead and close that. And as you can see, there are track listings. And just like you would do for the audio um, portion, you don't just want to grab them the way that they are. I'm we'll trying to get the uh, track information, so let's go ahead and click on the penguin and search the internet. And unfortunately, it did not find the track listing. Okay, again, method of last resort. You can always click on CD and try to get the track names from the CD text. And unfortunately, there is no CD text on this uh, disc. So we are left with the final way of getting the correct information in, and that is, of course, using our fingers. The manual input method. This is my favorite. So let's go ahead and uh, check this off. It is a compilation disc. And uh, the year is 2000. And the genre is karaoke. The artist is various because it is a compilation disc. And the album name is karaoke. Company 90s hits. Oops. 90s hits. Okay, to do individual um, track information, to do their artist and title, all you gotta do is double click. And we'll click on the artist name. The artist name is in Vogue. And click tab to edit the track name. And it is my lovin'. Click OK. And let's do the second one. Double click to enter in the artist name and track name. This is Gloria Stefan. And the name of this track is Everlasting Love. Okay, we have two tracks in here. Those are going to be the only two that, that will rip. So if we, we want to selectively just do a couple tracks, you can either check, or you can right-click and select none, or select all. Go ahead and select none, and I'll just pick the first two tracks, and we will try to rip them. Now, the difference between using uh, ripping audio CDs versus karaoke is you don't want to just click here on the grab button. You need to click on the CD button, get tra or um, grab to CDG tracks karaoke, and we want to grab them to a CDG plus MP3, so we'll select CDG and compressed file. Now notice this ripping method. It's saying 187 times 81. We know that something's wrong. So we'll go ahead and pause or actually abort all. Seems to be a common problem with a lot of CD-ROM drives that do not support ripping CDGs. This is a common problem that we see with CD-ROM drives that don't officially support CDG files. And we can prove this by trying to play these in one of our karaoke programs. I'll open up PCDJ VJ. And we'll scroll to that folder where we have them ripped. And you can see that's where it ripped them to. Where if I try to load the file, it comes up blank. So this is one of the uh, common problems you should be on the lookout. Um, if you see it ripping that fast, then you know that something is wrong. Now the other common problem that we come across is people not having the ASPI driver 
um, installed on XP or Vista and those patches can be downloaded off of our website and I will do I will show you that in another tutorial now fortunately for me let me get this disk out of here fortunately for me I do have another CD-ROM drive here that I know does support CDG ripping CDG files and this is probably a good investment considering that most laptop CD-ROM drives really aren't designed to do heavy ripping. So I'm going to go ahead and take the same disk and load it into my other CD-ROM drive, my external CD-ROM drive. Now, to change Audio Grabber to recognize that other CD-ROM drive, we'll click on Settings, and we will go to the drop-down box, and you can see there is our Sony DVD external. We'll click OK, and there are the tracks. Now, unfortunately, we will have to go through and type in some more information again. That's a compilation disk, so various. And the album is Karaoke Company. Nineties hits. Go ahead and double click and we'll just do the first two files again. And double click on number two. I'm going to do a quick review of my, I'm going to do a direct rippling code to MP3 of my settings here. I kind of get into the habit of doing this after um, misplacing them, having wrong MP3 settings, etc. So I kind of like to check before I actually rip it. Okay, we want to rip uh, karaoke files, so we're not going to click on the grab again. We're going to click on CD, grab CDG tracks karaoke and grab two CDG plus compressed wave file. Now one thing before I do this is that I think that I do want to delete the files that I have already ripped into my computer because if I don't it will make duplicates and then I will probably get confused as to which ones are the good rips and which ones are the bad rips. So let's go ahead go into our rips and we'll get rid of this old one that we know does not work. Okay, click on CD, grab up CDG Tracks Karaoke, and grab two CDG plus compressed file. Now let's watch this. That looks a lot more normal. Um, it's not ripping at 200 times speed. It's more of a regular ripping rate. So this is a good indication that this will be a, a good rip. And we're not going to go ahead and rip them all, so let's go ahead and abort this last and final one. And we can eject the disk. And we will close Audio Grabber. Let's go ahead and open up our karaoke program, in this case again, PC DJ VJ. And let's browse to our karaoke folder where we just ripped those files. And now let's test them. And as you can see, there's waveforms, and we now have video. And that's how you rip karaoke discs with Audio Grabber.